Hi, hello, good morning children. I am Vijay Lakshmi from Tiny Dots group of schools. I am teaching social studies for 4th class students. Already we completed two periods about the plateaus of India. What is the meaning of plateau? A raised land from sea level and which is having flat roof. Flat, flat top. A raised land above the sea level and it is having flat top and it is very fertile and it is very black in color and it is very useful for growing cotton crop. So this is about plateau. Uh, our plateau in India it is also called as peninsular plateau. Peninsular plateau. Why? Because it is having one side land mass that is Aravali mountains and three sides it is having water. East side Bay of Bengal, West side Arabian Sea and South side Indian Ocean. So now I am going to explain about plateaus of India. Plateaus of India and the life and the importance of the plateaus. The life and the importance of the plateaus. Okay children. Now look at the look at the board of you. A plat the life in the life in the plateaus is divided into four parts. Mainly into four parts. One is the northwest region and second one is northeast region and third one is central part and fourth one is southern part. So our plateaus are divided into four regions. Our plateaus are divided into four regions. Now I am going to explain the about the northwest part. The northwest part. How can we say the life of the people in one region or in one place? How can we say how they are leading the life? By looking their food, food habits and by looking their dresses and by looking at their occupation and by looking, looking, their, looking at their celebration of festivals. This is about the life of the people in the certain region. Okay children. And before going to that, I am going to ask you one question, one GK question. See, what is the smallest island in India? What is the smallest island in India? All of you open your homework notebook and write down answer for this. What is the smallest island in India? What is the smallest island? What is the meaning of island? The area which is covered by water on four sides. Not three sides, on four sides. That is called island. That is called island of island. So, what is the smallest island in India? This is the GK question for today. Now, look at the boat children, all of you. Look at the food. Food habits in northwest region. The, the people in northwest region, people in northwest region, see, they mostly eat rice, fish, pulses and vegetables. Rice, fish, pulses and vegetables. Why? Because they are near to Arabian Sea. The Arabian Sea is in west side. So, they eat fish. They Fish is available in uh, coastal regions. So, they eat rice, fish, pulses and vegetables. What type of dress they wear? They wear dhoti shirt, red turban, saris. Dhoti shirt, red turban and saris. Traditionally, Maharashtra people are wearing dhotis or paisamas and kurtas. Paisamas and kurtas. That is their normal dress. That is their normal dress. What about the occupation? They, the people in the people in northwest region mostly they are engaged in farming only. Mostly they are engaged in farming only. Farming means agriculture. They, they are cultivating crops and they are growing crops and they are uh, keeping the industries which are based upon the farming. Which are based upon the farming. Mostly they grow the uh, crops like cotton, sugar cane and groundnuts. Gro groundnuts is the pulses. Sugar cane is useful to take the joggery and the sugar and, and cotton. cotton. Why? Because the soil in this region is black in color. Black soils are very useful for growing cotton crop. So, though the people in Maharashtra and the people in Northwest region, they are cultivating cotton crops, pulses and sugar cane. 
This is about the occupation of people and the crops of people in North West region. Next one, next one. See how they are celebrating festivals. What are the festivals they are celebrating? Festivals are the symbol for joy and splendor. Why we are celebrating the festivals? To meet with our relatives and to enjoy, to enjoy with the joy and splendor. Every day we are carrying normal life. But on festival day, we are we are doing some new things, taking taking head bath and wearing new clothes and meeting meeting relatives and going to friends' houses like that. Festivals are a symbol for joy and splendor. So they are celebrating the festivals like Ganesh Chaturthi. Ganesh Chaturthi means recently we celebrated Vinayak Chaturthi. Vinayak Chaturthi is also called as Ganesh Chaturthi. Ganesh Chaturthi is mostly celebrated in Maharashtra and they are very fond of music and drama. Music means Sangeeta and the drama means place, Nautika. Nautika Vedam, Patra Patram, Vadit Chara Istam. The people who are living in North West region and they are practicing, they are practicing one folklore, one folk music and dance style that is called Tamasha. What is the, what is that word? Tamasha. What is that word? Tamasha. Tamasha is a folklore which is practiced in Maharashtra state. That is, uh, that is very famous, that is very famous folk, folklore. For no, this is about the food, the dress, occupation, and festival scene, not West region. Food. Look at once, once again. Look at this food. They are eating rice, fish, pulses, and vegetables. Rice, fish, pulses, and vegetables. And they are wearing both in shirt and red turban. Sarees. Women are wearing sarees. And occupation. They are mostly. Depending upon farming, and they are cultivating the crops like rice, um, sugar cane, wheat, pulses, and vegetables. And they are celebrating the festivals like Ganesh Chaturthi. And they are practicing music and drama. Um, example: the folklore Tamasha. What is the word that? Tamasha. T A M A S H A. Tamasha. Okay. This is about Northwest region. This is about Northwest region. Now we enter into Northeast region. Northeast region is the side of Bay of Bengal. Bay of Bengal. Okay. See what type of food they are eating here. They are eating rice, pulses and vegetables. Rice, pulses and vegetables. The part of the peninsula plateau. Wow. What are the states in Northeast region? Chhattisgarh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, West Bengal and Jharkhand. Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Odisha and Jharkhand. These four states are the part of part of Northeast region. Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Jharkhand and part of West Bengal. These four states are there in Northeast region. Northeast region. What is their occupation? This, this is a very fertile basis because of Mahanadi river. Mahanadi river. And the farming is the main occupation. Farming is the main occupation. And in some places, mines are also there. Already I told you, uh, there are some mines in Deccan Plateau. Uh, so, and because of the fertile land made by Mahanadi river, this is also called as rice bowl of India. Right, Annam Patra. Patra Rice bowl of India. Rice bowl of India. Because rice grows very much in this region. In this region. Rice, you, we are eating rice every day that comes from paddy plants that is uh, very much grown in northeast region and they, they are doing some they are doing some industry works also odisha state is very famous for silver and jewelry work silver and jewelry work rice and jute are the main crops here rice and jute are the main crops here and uh, in west bengal and jharkhand coal mines are there coal mines are there Goku Ganu Unai. Goku Ganu Unai. that's why there are coal mining centers are also there West Bengal and Jharkhand. Odisha is very famous for jewelry and silver industry and, uh, and uh, Jharkhand and West Bengal are famous for coal mining centers coal mining centers 
This is about the occupation in northeast region. Occupation and farming in northeast region. And next one, food. What type of food they are eating? They are eating rice, pulses and vegetables. Rice, pulses and vegetables. And what about their dresses? They are wearing dhoti shirts and sarees. Men are wearing dhoti and shirt and women are wearing sarees. This is the normal dress. This is the normal dress they are wearing. Northeast people are wearing. So look at the Northeast once again. What type of food they are eating? Rice, pulses and vegetables. What type of occupation they are doing? They are doing farming and uh, silver work and coal mining centers are there. And what type of dress they are wearing? Dhoti shirt and sarees. And this place is called Rice Bowl of India. The, the title is given to that Rice Bowl of India. Okay. Now look, look at the third one, Central Part. What is the third one? Central Part. What type of food they are eating? They are eating wheat, rice and pulses. Wheat, rice and pulses. They are eating wheat, rice and pulses. The central part includes the states Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh is mostly in central part. Madhya Pradesh state. Madhya Pradesh is a big state. And this is also called the heart of India. The Gundelandu. Bharat Desha is Gundelandu. And Gundelandu is the heart of the heart of the heart of the heart of the heart. The heart of the heart is important. Madhya Pradesh is important. This is called as heart of India. Heart of India. Madhya Pradesh is very well known for forest reserves. So many types of forests are there. So many types of forests are there. And the climate in this region is very pleasant throughout the year. Very pleasant throughout the year. Pleasant and sometimes in summer season, sometimes it is very hot also. So because the forests are there and so many types of forest things we can purchase there and uh, wildlife sanctuaries are there and Gom tribes are the tribal people or the type of tribal people living here Goms. what is the name of the tribal people Goms. g o n e s Goms. okay so this is about the central india and occupation they are farming they are farming and uh, some people also work in mines a large number of people engaged in other occupations not only farming they are they are engaged in other industries which are attached to mining already i told you peninsula plateau is the storehouse of minerals minerals means coal bauxite mica gold silver like that which are which we are digging from the earth those are called mines mine minerals so this is the storehouse of minerals so people are engaged in mining works also people are engaged in other occupations along with farming along with farming and the diamond diamond mines are in panna well known they are, they are very well known in diamond mines and the new diamond field of bundelkhand and the bandar and, and bandar is also very famous bundelkhand bundelkhand in bandar bundelkhand in bandar they are very famous for gold and diamond mines gold and diamond mines food what type of food they are eating they are eating wheat rice and pulses wheat rice and pulses wheat rice and pulses and they are wearing dhotis and sarees they are wearing dhotis and sarees this is about the central part of india the people are depending upon farming along with mining and here diamond and gold mines are there in panna and bundelkhand panna and bundelkhand and it is also called as the heart of india most of the central part is in madhya pradesh so it is called as the heart of india it is uh, filled with uh, forest reserves so we can see so many types of forests and uh, wildlife sanctuaries here they are eating wheat rice and pulses they are wearing dhoti and sari dhoti and sari this is about the central part of india and next one southern part of india southern part means near indian ocean near the last tip of india the last tip of india the southern part the peninsula consists of andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu kerala like that four states are here four states what are the states andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu kerala 
where are we living children where are we living we are living in andhra pradesh state these are our neighboring states what are the neighboring states to andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu kerala these four states are joined in the southern part of plateau southern part of plateau it is near indian ocean it is near indian ocean the chief languages are talked here telugu telugu kannada malayalam tamil tamil telugu kannada malayalam tamil telugu kannada malayalam these four languages are spoken here four languages are spoken here and food what about the food food in southern part rice fish dosa and coconut in andhra pradesh people are eating rice with curries chutneys and uh, breakfast like dosa idli sambar like that and in tamil nadu they are also eating idli idli uthappam chettinad chettinad uh, non vegetarian food like that they are eating rice uthappam idli um, and uh, chettinad non vegetarian food items this is about tamil nadu in kerala in kerala they are also eating they are also eating rice idli vada ragi and fish rice idli vada ragi and fish this is about this is about the food food items which are eaten in southern part in andhra pradesh people are eating rice chutneys vegetables pickles and breakfast like idli dosa idli dosa chapati puri like and in tamil nadu a special non vegetarian food is eaten by the people chettinad non vegetarian food chettinad non vegetarian food and along with that idli sambar uthappam is very famous and in kerala they are eating ragi ragi fish rice etc this is about the food items in southern part of india southern part of india and the dresses andhra pradesh people are wearing sarees shirts pants and dhotis and tamil nadu people are wearing a special dress called angavastra lungi ni ila kattu odilesi kattukuntaru mana lungi kattukuntaru kada white panchi ni odilesi kattukotam that the type of dress is called angavastra the type of dress is called angavastra okay and in kerala they are celebrating the festivals like the onam and in the andhra pradesh we are celebrating sankranti and ugadi ugadi is our um, new year day so we are celebrating ugadi in andhra pradesh ugadi vinayak chauthi dasara deepavali like that and in tamil nadu they are celebrating pongal and in kerala they are celebrating onam they are celebrating onam festival these are the important festival um, celebrating in the four states and occupation mostly kerala people are depending upon fishing kerala people are depending upon fishing why because four sides sea and canals are there so that's why they are mostly depend, depending upon fishing fishermen earn money through fishing and in andhra pradesh people are depending upon farming and in tamil nadu also people are depending upon farming they are they are farming rice they are farming paddy wheat coconut is very famous in kerala coconut oil and coconut is very famous in kerala and agriculture is the main occupation in these four states and rice maize cotton pulses wheat coconut vegetables fruits these are all types of crops are grown here jute sugar cane etc all types of crops are grown here why because the land is fertile and the climate is very suitable for growing all types of crops all types of crops mostly kerala is very famous for coconuts we can see lot of coconut trees in kerala region kerala region this is about the occupation in the southern part of india southern part of india what are the festivals the ganesh chaturthi onam um, and uh, pongal sankranti ugadi these festivals are um, are celebrated with the joy and splendor joy splendor kuchipudi is very famous in uh, andhra pradesh kuchipudi is one of the type of dance style bharatanatyam is very famous in tamil nadu bharatanatyam is very famous in tamil nadu these are the different types of different types of mu- music and dance styles in the southern part of india southern part of india so this is about the life of the people life of the people in plateau of india plateau of india is mainly divided into four parts 
one is north west second one is north east third one is central part fourth one is southern part food mainly they are eating the same type of food dresses also they are wearing dhoti shirt turbans sarees anga vastra like that occupation is farming mining and fishing and festivals and different different types of festivals are celebrated in in the four parts and central part is also got the heart of india north west is also got the rice bowl of india like that this is about the life of the people in plantusa india so children open your homework notebook you enter this table in your homework notebook and write it two times again okay bye children bye